The night is past and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. Lord, we pray that you will enlighten our minds this morning as we look at your word. This morning we look to Deuteronomy chapter 29 and uh, the first 10 verses of chapter 30. I just want to pull out one or two little thoughts from them. Uh, during the renewal of the covenant, the Lord is speaking to the people and he says, make sure there is no man or woman, clan or tribe among you whose heart turns away from the Lord to go and worship the idols. Make sure there is no root among you that produces such bitter poison. And when we examine our lives, we don't just examine that which is on the surface, but we are called to examine to see if there is a root, a root of evil in us that is producing a bitter poison. And so we examine our hearts today and we say, search me, O God, and try my heart and see if there's a root that is producing um, a, a bitter fruit and bitter poison from my life. So we root out the evil that's within us by, with God's help. And then as we read into chapter 30, there's all the warnings of judgment, all of the things that can go wrong. And if they disobey the Lord and turn from him, he's going to destroy them, chase them from the land and uh, disperse them among the nations. This, of course, happened during the exile. It happened again when they rejected Jesus as the Messiah. They were scattered among the nations. Um, but there's a reassurance, there's a promise. Oh, this can all be put right. Uh, chapter uh, 30 and verse 2, when you and your children return to the Lord your God and obey him with all your hearts and with all your soul, according to everything I command you today, then the Lord will restore your fortunes. So that the God's punishment was not ongoing. It was not uh, punishment for the sake of punishment. It was not going to cascade down the generations with no hope of uh, salvation. But as soon as the generation turned to the Lord and trusted him, then God would bless them. And this is true in our life when we have been disobedient to the Lord, when we find his hand heavy upon us, when he is disciplining us. If we turn to him and if we um, wholeheartedly seek him again, then right away the Lord restores our fortunes. He has compassion on us. His punishment in our lives is not to uh, destroy us but to bring us back to him. We thank, we thank God that he disciplines us like a loving father, not for his pleasure, but he disciplines us that we may be productive and fruitful. Our Father, we lift up this day to you and we pray, Lord, that we will be obedient to you so that, Lord, you will have no need to discipline us. But, Lord, if we do, we pray that we will quickly learn the lessons and turn our hearts back to you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.